Hi everyone, um, this is the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B that I've ordered off HiFiBerry.com. Uh, I'm going to pair it with a DAC Pro uh, and I'm going to install uh, Pi Core Player software. Um, to enable me to stream music from Logitech Media Server. Um, it's a very neat little setup. It's got Wi-Fi, HDMI, it's the Ethernet, uh, four USB ports from what I can see. Yeah, it's a very cool piece of equipment. Looking forward to getting it set up. Here are the connectors on this side as well. I'll just place this black heat sink. I did look up on the web exactly where it went. Some models or some kits come with individual smaller heat sinks. Uh, you can also get case fans and all sorts of uh, bits and pieces. This is the DAC board. Uh, I'm a bit of an old school guy. I like analog. Connectors gold plated. This is the DAC Pro board from HiFi Berry. HiFiBerry.com. Not a paid advert, not affiliated, etc. Um, yeah, it's a very nice piece of kit. Okay, so I've just added the DAC Pro board onto the uh, riser here. Oh, I added it on, sorry. It was a bit skewed off there, but uh, I think it'll be fine. Before I add it into the case, so there's a little bit of weight on top. That's very cool. Very neat. So this is the uh, the case. It comes with uh, the required hardware and uh, little rubber feet. Just need to pop this out to get it to fit. Okay, it's a bit delicate, uh, but I finally worked out how to uh, put this together. Um, so essentially, you had to assemble in the case um, two separate sections so one board assembled to the uh, top and the other to the bottom and there were risers in between to space them out it took me a good 15 minutes to try and work that out without any instructions but uh, hey I worked it out and I'm too afraid to take the damn thing apart because it's in there nice and snug now. Uh, hopefully it all works. Uh, next steps will be to uh, get the uh, operating system installed and uh, see if it uh, turns on. So uh, this is the uh, slot for the SD card. I think that's power maybe. Um, I think it the cable that comes with it is micro or display port, display port, I think, to or micro uh, HDMI to full size. Let's have a look here. Or micro USB to HDMI, something like that. Everything's micro, micro SD, micro. Display port, micro HDMI, mini HDMI, the full size. I'm pretty sure it can output 4K as well, which is impressive. Use the uh, screwdriver from iFixit, thank you very much, which I had before. 
So this is a cool little setup. Half a berry came with this power switch. Looks like uh, it's powered by USB C, so that's cool. Yeah, really neat little kit. Loads of ventilation, it shouldn't get too hot, hopefully. It powers on, so that's a good sign. Uh, and that's all that hole was for status lights. That's good. Next step is to get the uh, operating system loaded on. Okay, I've turned on the Raspberry Pi and plugged it in. It's all running. Um, so yeah, it's just complaining because it uh, hasn't got the SD card fitted yet. Just about to uh, get it loaded up with some software and uh, give it a go. Okay, I've loaded up PyCore Player. Um, this is a very simple and easy tool for, you, for Mac use to load up uh, an image onto an SD card. Um, you can download it from the Raspberry Pi website. Uh, very cool imaging utility. Took about five minutes. Um, it's just loaded up. It's complaining about uh, wireless network. Although I loaded the file, it doesn't look like it's found the network, so I'm just going to troubleshoot that. Okay, after some tweaking, it's got an IP address. And at some point, I might want to fiddle around and set it up with a static IP. But for now, it's okay. 